so this is the 330X Kdex Carbon Hunter. It's got a proof carbon fiber in the barrel, 26 inches. I think it's a 1 inch 7.5 twist. I got the Gen 3 Fat Bastard brake on it with all the ports open up top and it just tames the recoil right down to nothing. Um, it's got the 60 degree bolt throw, I believe it is. I could be wrong, but it is just butter smooth. You can actually hear how smooth it is. I got five round magazines, so it takes the AICS mags. And you'll notice, no rattle. It's a hunting rifle. And they assured me that the, the mag would not rattle in there while you're hunting with it. So that is a big bonus on them. Mag release, you really got to give it a, a good pull to get it out. It's nice and tight. I think they got shims in there, if I remember right. Um, the stock. When I first went to buy this, I talked to Ryan at Kdex, and I told him I just wanted the barreled action. And he said, get the, he, said, he goes, what do you want it for? And I said, well, I want it for hunting and all around shooting, lots of long range stuff. And I'll probably use it hunting too. And he says, well, why don't you get the whole gun? And I'm like, honestly, I said, cause the stock looks like plastic and cheap. And he goes, he assured me it wasn't. And he said, if I didn't like it when I got it, he, they would make it good. So I said, okay, I'd take the chance. When I put this pick rail on, I had to drill one hole, which was already pre-indexed from the inside. So when I did that, I, I'm thinking I'm drilling through plastic. I actually had to put my shoulder into it to get that drill bit to start um, drilling through it. It just did, and it was a sharp drill, but it was new. The only thing I had to do, I had to put on a, a cheek rest. This is a Bradley cheek rest, and I highly recommend them. They're light. The guy's amazing to deal with. Um, they're reasonable priced, and uh, it gets you the right height you need. So I'm, I'm running, it's got the sheep herder or sheep herd action. I guess, I don't know what the difference between that is and the sheep dog. But it also has their two stage trigger, the KDX trigger. And that can turn into a one stage trigger too, just by taking it out of the action and, and uh, taking a screw out and putting it in a different spot. But it, uh, you can definitely feel it when it hits. And then it's just a, a nice break from there. No, no creep or nothing. It's about two pounds, which it's going to be a hunting gun, so I don't really want anything less than that. So I'll be leaving it at that. Um, I put the 30 MOA rail on it. I had my choice of a 0, 20, or 30. Went with 30. And with this Night Force scope, it gives me, there's 10, 20, 21 exactly usable mils up, which is a lot. I think that gets me just, I think I got to hold like uh, three mils over for 2,000 yards. So set anything up to a mile or I just aim dead on, dial it, and away I go. As for the scope, it's a Night Force 4232. And it, of course it comes with these nice Tenebrex scope caps. It's got the 30 mil tube. It's nice and light. I believe it's 29 ounces. I got sitting in some Night Force ultralight rings, 30 mils, with a bubble level on top. It's got this nice throw lever on top, which is included with the scope. The dial up, I don't know if you can hear the clicks, very positive. Um, comes with a cap windage turret, which I really like, because I don't dial windage when I'm hunting. I hold it, and the only time I dial windage is when I hold a mover in a match anyways. Uh, it's got illumination, which one thing I can say with the illumination with this gun recoiling as heavy as it does, it turns on by itself sometimes under recoil, which I just press and hold the button. It doesn't do it. Night Force said I could send it back if I want and they would, they would fix it or look at it, but I'm in Canada <laughs> to ship it. I'm looking at probably six months without it and I can't go six months without shooting this gun. Sorry. And... I like the scope. It's got the Mil XT reticle, which is amazing. I have the same scope on my Voodoo 10 or my Voodoo 22, except it's a 4 to 20, I believe. I love these scopes. These scopes are awesome. I'd like to switch everything over to that Mil XT reticle. I like it because it's got the two tenths windage marks, which are right from the get go. I know I shoot a Vortex Gen 2 on my 6 Creed and 223. 
wild and it doesn't have that it's got 0.5 and then it's got 0.2 so if you got a point hold a 0.2 or 0.3 you're kind of holding out in the middle of nowhere and i like to have an aim spot and with this mill xt reticle you, you have that uh, parallax I, I believe this this one i believe they go down to 25 yards i know for sure one of my voodoo does this one i'm just kind of guessing but i'm not sure i think it does um i don't know what else i can say about this gun other than when I first broke it in, I did the one shot clean, one shot clean, one clutch, one shot clean for five, five shots. It's kind of funny because on the fourth shot, I forgot to put the muzzle brake back on after cleaning it and it almost knocked me off the bench. Um, you don't want to shoot these little muzzle brake. But then anyways, after that, I, uh, I believe it was my, I think I brought 15 rounds that day. So my 13th, 14th and 15th round, I was doing three shot groups and my final group was a 0.46 I believe and that's the load I went with that was my load development and I haven't changed and it just shoots amazing it I mean it, it shoots great so I don't know what else to say about this gun but if you're thinking about getting one just do it you won't be disappointed um it's very light let's just talk about weight okay with that muzzle brake on the front, it weighs, if I remember right, 10 pounds, 8 ounces, I think. I have another 338, and that's an MOA rifle. I love that rifle too. It's a tack driver as well. I just got the 338 bug, and I like to, I have a couple of them. They're fun to shoot. I love hitting things long ways, and they're great to hunt with. I've shot many animals with the 338. With their break from KDEX, which I haven't shot yet because I mean it just shoots so good with this one on. It weighs 10 pounds, 2 ounces with the scope on. So without the scope, I believe it's 8 pounds, 3 ounces or something. So I mean, you can easily pack this all day and it's well balanced. Look at that. I'm not even hanging on to it. So it's a great shooter. It recoils straight back. Uh, when I first got it, I, I just had to adjust these little holes on top. I don't know if you could see these, but just bent holes to if the gun shoot left or right or jumps this will you can adjust it and tune it so that it does not do that and i just found with none of them in it uh it shoots just the way i want it recoil you'll see on the video there's not much at all you you know you're shooting it you got to hang on to it but i can spot all my hits i can watch that bullet just right out to well, wherever I shoot basically as long as I'm doing my part you do have to hang on to it it is a 338 but shooting it without a shirt uh, with a t-shirt on all day would be, not be a problem um, don't know what else to say I think that's it yeah just buy one Kadex is uh, a great gun there's lots of retailers around and I bought it right from them and they built it for me. I told them what I wanted and how I wanted it. And that's what they did. And if I believe they do not have proof barrels anymore, they are using Bartlett barrels, carbon fiber. Proof couldn't keep up with demand with them. And I got the last one. So this KDEX 338 is the last one with a proof barrel. This is the last one they had in stock. So um, they're great to deal with. So. Okay, also I want to say, the chass or the stock is a Reming 700 footprint. It'll fit in any Reming 700 chassis stock that is the Reming 700 footprint. So that's another thing I forgot to say. And also the trigger is also a Remington 700 clone. That just kind of shows you how smooth that action is. And it's a dream to work. And when you do, after you do fire, I know my other 338, it's hard to lift back up after you squeeze the trigger. This one, you can come up without coming off target, basically. The other one, I gotta break my cheek weld and, and break it up, like really use some leverage to get it up. I think it's just because the bolt handle's a little short. I think on these also, you got a choice of different bolt handles, I believe. You'd have to ask them about that, but I believe they come with this one if you buy it just over the counter. Okay, so the KDX 338 Carbon Hunter. Um, 338 Lapua. I'm shooting out to 700 meters, 4.5 mils dialed up, and I'll hold a, what, a one, 
0.15 left. No wind. Just like that, center hit. Okay, here we are, 800 meters. On the Kestrel, I dialed up to 800 meters and 9 degree uphill. 5.5, dialed 5.5, and it is a 0.2 left hold for spin drift. I think the target is right at 2 minutes, so it's 16 by 16. Actually, it's a little less because that's 880 yards, 800 meters. So, left which is about a left edge that was an impact now I'm going to push her out to 865 meters which is the farthest we can shoot at this range and that works out to 955 yards Okay, I'm set up at uh, 865 meters. Kestrel says 6.1 mils dialed up, 0.2 left for wind. I might hold a little bit more just from my hit on the last target. It's a 13 degree uphill. Um, I'm shooting a 285 grain Emax 338 Lapua with 93.5 grains of Retumbo. Please don't use that load, it's pretty high. Um, I got no pressure signs. Velocities are 2866, which is smoking pretty good out of a 338. So let's see what she'll do at 865. That target also is a 16 by 16 inch target. So at, at 865, that's just a, about one and a half M away. Side. Now it's swinging, it's harder to hit. Impact. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time. On that note, I'm going to say. See you for now, and thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so when I post a new video, you get a little pop-up, and I'm going to have a lot more videos to come.